I believe that if we are honest with ourselves, that the most fascinating problem in the world is who am I? What do you... Oh, man. They say when you start making sounds, when you sit down or stand up, you're getting old. I'm getting old. So before I even start talking about how I was meditating, the guided meditation that I went through, the benefits of it, I think I should first talk about why I even thought it was necessary to start meditating. Uh, just like millions, if not billions of other people around the world, uh, anxiety is a huge part of my life and has affected me more particularly over the past couple of years. It's really hindered me from getting the best out of social situations or sometimes talking myself out of things that I know could have benefited me. And I think that anxiety stems from different places for different people. So for me, I get anxiety particularly with my health and with my body. So uh, it's weird, like every time I get a weird twinge or some sort of like uncomfortableness in my body, even if it's just a scratch, then my brain goes to these weird places where I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna die or I'm getting heart attack, or I'm gonna have a stroke. Like that constant thought of me potentially not being able to use my body anymore, being hindered in some sort of way, has this huge weight on me and gives me a lot of anxiety. And I think for me personally, that stemmed from uh, you know, the third time that my mother started battling cancer. So I know a lot of people have other anxieties that stem from other different places where it, you know, maybe it comes from not having enough uh, money or from social status or whatever it may be. But for me personally, anxiety has always stemmed from my body, my health, my well being, and not potentially having that in the future. So, because of that anxiety and the way that it was affecting me day to day, I wanted to find a way to cure that without having to resort to some sort of medicine or over-the-counter drugs or anything like that. I wanted it to be able to battle it on my own um, through the power of my mind and just see how that went. I mean, meditation isn't anything new. We've all heard of it. We all understand baseline of what it kind of is. For anybody that was raised in a religious household or is religious themselves, you know, the practice of praying, I think is meditative in itself. And it really grounds and centers a lot of people. But for people like me, who I'm not religious and I'm non-theist, that practice of meditation isn't formed or grounded in some sort of a prayer. And so I needed some sort of structure to be able to become more mindful. So there are a ton of meditation apps like Calm or whatever those other ones are. There's neuroscientists that I've been following for a long time and I really respect the way that he has discussions and the way he thinks about different things. Uh, Sam Harris has a podcast called the uh, Making Sense Podcast. Uh, give it a listen if you've never listened to it. Uh, it, it really is a, is a great resource to kind of just understand uh, the greater breadth and complexity of different topics. But he has an app called the Waking Up app and it is hands down probably the best app investment that I've ever made in my entire life. I've found that a lot of different explanations of meditation tend to be more abstract or can be seen as like hippie and uh, not really practical. But I've found that the way that Sam Harris covers meditation and the way he guides you through the day-to-day -day meditations is very practical and it's easy to understand and it doesn't hurt that his voice is really soothing to listen to. In his app, apart from the daily meditations, he also has different lessons and those lessons cover uh, different topics that relate to day-to-day -day life. And I find that the way that he explains things is much more science-driven. And for me, that's really important because I think it goes back to me not being a religious person. I've always wanted to kind of have a better explanation for why things are or why things should be. And I found that Sam Harris does a really good job of explaining those things. So the way the app introduces you into meditation is by introducing you to a 50 days of meditation course. The 50 days of daily meditation is always around 10 minutes and they cover it all these different topics that help you in your meditative practices and in being more mindful day to day. These things include mindfulness, focusing on the breath, loving kindness, open and closed eyes meditation. And I think it's really important to note that, you know, during these guided meditations, 
where you are trying to be more present in the moment and just to take the feelings that come to you as they are, Sam Harris does a really good job of letting you know that it's okay that the practice isn't perfect. There are lots of times when your thoughts are flooded into your brain and being mindful is really, really difficult. It doesn't matter whether it's your first day or whether it's your 10th year, these are things that will always happen because we're all human and things are much more complex and all you can do is just get better at being mindful, be, being better at being in the moment. In that initial 50 days, it's okay if it's not 50 days in a row. I did try to make it a habit to do it every single day, but I didn't get it done necessarily in 50 days. There are days where you know, you're just too busy and you have things to do, you know, life happens and that's totally okay. As long as you make it a point to try and get back to that equilibrium and do that daily practice because it is only 10 minutes a day and it's amazing the profound effect it has on not only the rest of your day, but the rest of your week going forward. So in this 50 days, Sam Harris does progression throughout the meditations where he will slowly uh, implement a different kind of practice into your meditation or a different way to think about the way that you're meditating uh, just so that you get a bigger grasp on the breadth of the complexity of being mindful and meditating and by doing so he really introduces different tools that allow you to meditate the best way for you because it is different for everybody. So let's talk about the actual practice and then some of the benefits. In the beginning it was extremely hard for me to focus on the things that I was supposed to be focusing on and, in the, and initially uh, Sam Harris tells you to focus on your breath and in the beginning, I couldn't focus my, on my breath for more than maybe five or 10 seconds before I started thinking about the different things that were going on in my day or what I had to do tomorrow or later or the things that I had said previously. And as the days progressed, you know, that did get really frustrating because I thought for a few days, like, why am I not getting better at this? But after the 10th and 15th day or so, you start noticing that your actual practice of meditation is gets better and better. That those times of me straying away from the moment and thinking about other things became more and more scarce. When those days came in, you know, two weeks in, and I had finished my, my 10 minute practice, the rest of my day was amazing. I felt more present, more attentive, I was able to listen to the people that were speaking to me when I was working on a project or when I was at work. I was able to focus on what I was doing. Side note, this coupled with what I talked about in my last video about leaving social media uh, has had a compounding effect on the way that I just live my day-to-day -day life and my ability to invest more quality time into the things I'm doing in the moment. One of the huge benefits of the meditative practice is that you can learn to get into that meditative zone, you know, focus on your breathing, uh, pay attention to what's happening and not get into your head with all the things that make you anxious. Um, in situations where you might not be able to just sit and breathe for a second, you know, there are situations where it might be a really busy uh, party, like an overwhelming social situation or I can remember being at a stoplight and all of a sudden start feeling really, really anxious. Uh, but with the daily practices, I found that even in those situations where, you know, things are changing constantly, like when you're at the stoplight or when you're driving, you know, there are a lot of different variables to be considering that even when I'm in those situations and I am just focusing on my breathing and doing some of the meditative practices that uh, I was, taught during the guided meditation courses that I'm able to kind of take that anxiety away in those moments. Also, the thing about daily meditation is that if you don't do it every single day, uh, it does go away a little bit. The ability to quickly get into that meditative zone or to quickly zero in on your breath. A great example is honestly for the past couple of days I've been really busy. And because I haven't done it for a few days, I have found that this anxiousness when it comes in, that it is taking longer and it's a little bit harder to get rid of because I haven't been doing the practice every single day. So it's something that needs to be implemented every single day as a part of your lifestyle and becomes a habit 
so that so that you can keep those tools in your tool belt without them getting rusty. For me, I still am trying to figure out when the best day for me to do my meditation is. I found that you know when I come back from work and I try to meditate for the 10 minutes that it's really a great time for me to take all of that busyness that I've had all day and unwind from it and get me in the zone for what I might be doing next because I like to do creative work in the evening or go for a walk or work out or whatever and it kind of gets me out of my uh, work zone in my head. Another time that I've played around with is in the very beginning of the morning before I go to work because then it allows me to be more attentive if I if I have any like big projects or presentations going on that day. So I'm still trying to figure out what time works best for me and it might be different every single day because like I, like I talked about before, you're human, life happens, your schedule isn't the same every single day. So you just gotta go with the flow. So overall, I would say that if meditation is something that you've been looking to do, that Sam Harris's Waking Up app is definitely the way to go if you want to try it out. Even if that's not the app that you want to go to, meditation in general has had a huge benefit on my life over the past 50, 70 days that I've done these guided meditations. In the end, you know, I think meditation has had a huge impact on my anxiety and the way that I have a relationship with my anxiety. I no longer feel like I'm not in control where I don't know what to do when those anxiety attacks happen. That with these practices and these tools in my tool belt, that if I do start feeling anxious, there are things that I can do because now I know how to get rid of that anxiety or to just have a better relationship with the thoughts that are going on in my head and to not get caught up in, in this, in this tunnel that you get yourself in when you're going through anxiety. So whether it's through this app, whether it's through another app, or whether it's through any other means, I would 100% recommend that meditation is something that everybody should learn how to do. Whether you have anxiety or not, being able to meditate allows you to be more present in the moment and to take in the things around you, the people that are speaking to you, the projects that you're working on, uh, with 100% attention. And in this world of constant content coming at you and information overload, I think meditative practices are essential and would love to see meditative practices introduced early on in education. Even though I've only done it for a couple of months now and I intend to do it for the rest of my life, I've already seen the benefits of it. Honestly, would never want to go back to not meditating. So with that being said, if there's anything regarding your own meditative practices or any questions that you have or experiences that you have that you wanna share, please leave them in the comments. With that being said, until next time, I'll see you later.